Hi Cancer, just um, touching bases, wanted to do a um, healing uh, reading for each sign. Um, I felt led to do this message today. Um, I did also do um, an ask for guidance um, video for each of the elements earlier today. So if you could check that out when you get a chance. Um, Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also leave comments, let me know, give me feedback on, you know, how this plays out for you. Um, I really appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to use the Heal Yourself reading cards to see, um, you know, a focus of where you may need healing. And then we'll get a few cards um, to get more detail about that and let's get started let me shuffle here I shuffled a few times already but what do we have for cancer and we get cycles this is the number six so I'm going to go ahead and read the card, or read the book about the card, and then we will um, pull some cards to get uh, clarification on how this applies to you. So let me look this up. Okay, cycles. Life is, of course, I don't know how to say this word, cyclical. Sometimes things flow, and at other times they slow down. What cycle of your life are you in right now? What is the one area of your life where you need to focus most of your energy? Is it time for you to focus on your family? Do you need alone time to discover your true purpose? Do you yearn to open your heart and love fully, deeply, and passionately? Is this the time for healing and regeneration? Maybe you are completely ready to enthusiastically concentrate on your life purpose and put all your energy and effort into making your dreams a reality. Each cycle you encounter offers you fresh gifts and possibilities to learn and grow. The better you become at identifying the cycle you are in, the more flow and harmony you will experience in the choices you make. Okay, so let's get some cards for Cancer to give us a little bit more detail about this healing message regarding cycles Part for cancer and we get wheel of fortune so wheel of fortune is all about timing divine timing and I feel like cycles go right along with that um, you know time doesn't stop for us <laughs> So it's all about being able to understand and be connected to the divine in order to manifest what you've been um, working through in a particular cycle. So let's see what cycle we're really looking at here. This could be love, it could be spiritual, it could be work. You know, um, family, abundance, all of those things. Let's see if we can get some clarification. And we get the Seven of Pentacles. In traditional um, tarot decks, this really shows um, somebody, you know, planting the seeds and starting to see um, buds on their or bloom, you know, bloom in their garden, essentially. And I think this is really talking about, you know, um, planning and, and um, you still have to work while you're waiting for your harvest, you know, um, and putting your time and energy and love into, you know, making sure that, that this um, the seeds that you have planted grow. And so I feel like the divine is saying the time is now. Um,
Yeah, let's see if we get another card. Definitely feel like this is in regard to abundance. And abundance is just not about money. It's about, you know, family. It's about um, the security you have, um, your home. Um, let's see what else we have. And we get the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like it's really saying that there is, you know, new opportunities but you're still, you know, in this cycle, you, you don't want to forget about the seeds that you've planted, but you also need to plant them, water them, feed them, but then understand that um, the harvest doesn't come right now. So pentacles can really talk about patience and, you know, continuing on knowing that you will get that harvest at the end and cycles you know it's the same thing it's like the timing will come it's just about patience and sometimes we're looking at our situation and we're saying yeah but I need it right now like this is when I'm drowning in debt or this is when you know whatever is going on in your life I need it now but just know that the divine is backing you up. They are protecting you. And if you need to reach out for support, that's what you should do. I think we all should incorporate support from the people around us, our spirit team. Let's see what the final spirit guide message is to close this out. Okay, it says memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. So memories definitely talk about time. So I think that time, cycles divine timing, memories, I think that's all going to come into play with reaching your abundance. Well, that's the short message that I have for you today, Cancer. Um, please do like, share, and subscribe. And remember that the universe has your back, and so do I. See you next time.